Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out my channel again. Now I'm doing a camper redo here. You can see the camper. And during the process, uh, it used to have uh, an AM FM antenna on the roof that somebody lost or broke or whatever. This is all that was left up there on the roof. So they lost that ball part and socket. And this is old, you can tell it's an old one. But I was having a hard time finding these. Um, I wanted the original because of one reason and one reason only. The wiring that connects to this runs all through the camper walls. I don't want to have to redo all that wiring. So I was looking for this type of a connector and I found it. And this is it here. It's a part number 44-US01R. Uh, Metro Tenna Works. So I'm going to show it to you. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'll lay it out here. Hold on. Okay, you can see here's the old one. It's got three holes, which doesn't make a difference in my case because I'm redoing the roof. But if you want to reuse your existing holes, they're already there. And that's what this is. Three holes. It's also got that ball type socket there. And there's the nut. There's the split ball. So you can make this uh, turn or adjust if you want to, like go up a wall, something like that. And most importantly, it has the correct connector on the end of it. It's exactly the same. Also, this thing's really flexible. Look at that. I mean, that's crazy. It's not even hard to do. It's kind of like a, a whip. Uh, this part will unscrew from the ball if you want to do it that way. Of course, it comes with the uh, metal plate and the mounting uh, for underneath and it comes with a new cable which I'm not going to use this cable because mine's fine and it is a grounded cable which mine is too um, this goes to the the trailer ground you need to create a ground plane to get the best reception that's something that I had to fool around with whenever I was doing my CB antenna now if you want to check out my CB antenna install check out my channel and you'll see it on there it's uh, uh, basically a side mount CB antenna. So I wanted to go ahead and show this to you and let you know if you have an older camper and you have this style antenna and you don't want to redo all your wiring through the walls and through the roof, this is the one that you need to buy. I'll put a link down below on the video. Click the link in the description and it will take you right to this product and you can purchase it online and it will ship to you right away. If you're an Amazon Prime member, it will ship to you two days free, guaranteed. I appreciate it as always. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm Colin Earhart with Metro Electronics. Today I want to talk to you about the Universal Antenna Mask replacement program that Metro has available. This line is available under the Metro name as well as the Raptor branding. Replacing an antenna mast, very simple thing to do. Factory fender mount antennas, the mast threads off the vehicle, and we've got a line of antenna masts ranging from 31 inches uh, down to 13 inches in length, coming in different colors and shapes, like a zebra print, a skull on the top of it, black anodized, aluminum, chrome, a lot of variety there. Now on to installation. Installation, obviously there's different factory threads, different factory antenna masks to replace. Most General Motors antenna masks do not require an additional adapter, but there are six adapters that come with each of these universal antenna masks. So let's just say we have a Ford vehicle with a fender mount antenna. Any standard wrench or pliers or anything will really work to get that antenna mast off. We don't want to damage anything. Metro's install bay line of tools provide some plastic wrenches which make it a little cleaner for assembly and disassembly. So with the Ford vehicle, we notice that the antenna mast is slightly different than what comes right out of the package. We'll need to use one of the adapters. We'll take the proper adapter for Ford, thread it into the antenna mast, and thread it into the vehicle. It's that simple. Chrysler's the same thing. Chrysler antenna threading is different than what comes straight out of the package, so we'll grab one of those adapters again, find the proper Chrysler adapter, as noted on the back of the packaging, thread it into the antenna mast, thread it onto the vehicle. Same basic thing with the import as well. So to recap, 
We're talking about universal replacement masks for factory antennas. The mast is missing, broken, somebody stole it. You got a line of replacement masks. Black anodized, chrome, aluminum, skull on the tip of it, zebra print, everything you could possibly want for most any vehicle out there that has a replacement mask on. From the Metra and Raptor brands, thanks for watching.